What is up, everybody? It's your host, Mr. Pig, bringing you a hardcore team deathmatch on Nuketown. Uh, me, personally, of course, threw that grenade a little early. I am the world's worst with the grenades. Here a little bit later, I I make the dumbest throws. With, I, I can make really awesome good throws with grenades, and I can make some retarded ones. I think I have a bank shot back at me. It didn't kill me, luckily. I don't know how many times I've did that. Where I've thrown a grenade, it hits the wall, comes back at me, blows up, and there I go. I look like an idiot. And it's it's even worse on hardcore because right there, <laughs> it's even worse on hardcore because I've did it before and I've killed three of us in the final kill cam. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so, the title of this video today is Hardcore Frustrations. Why, I say? Because I'm frustrated. There's just so many things on my mind I want to get it off my chest so I'm gonna do it with you first of all a really good friend of mine got robbed the other day brings his his comfort level at home down and it really sucks because he's really a good person and the last person in the world that deserves to be robbed in fact the person that probably robbed him if he would have came to him knocked on his door and said I'm hungry I think he would have probably invited him in and gave him some barbecue chicken. Because that's probably what he was having for dinner, is barbecue chicken. But, you know, it happens. And everybody around you, when something happens, you know, in your family or something, and it spooks you, it you always want to take extra precautions. And you want to do it quick before you forget. Take precautions before things happen almost like national security we didn't have all this pat downs at the airport and getting half naked at the airport because they're afraid you're gonna have a bomb until 9-11 until it happened why 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 didn't we get people half naked before 9-11 do you not know why that sounds pretty stupid to me pretty crazy but precautions take them number two always see your family your family is always very important you know some people have odd situations I've I've got a really odd but familiar to a lot of people situations you know my dad lives you know a thousand miles away from me so does my grandparents and it really sucks not being able to just go see your dad sometimes and say hi or stop by his house and grab a beer or you know just be able to have them when you need them and it it's really starting to impact me a lot here lately just because dad hit the hospital the other day man what happens if something happens to your parents and you live a thousand miles away and you don't have all the money in the world to just buy a ticket and go I don't you know it's very confusing so I'm just in the middle of figuring some of that stuff out and then of course my grandmother a month ago she has cancer so it's like how do I go see these people that I truly love and that I truly want to see Especially my dad. I mean, he's the biggest part of my life. And probably a most, most of you men or young men on here, he's probably a big part of your life too, you know? So just hold your family close. Talk to them. Call them up. Let them know what's up. Tell them you love them. Um, hardcore frustrations. This is another... That right there. Did you see that? I was on a eight, eight rapid kills. I was on a nine kill streak. And a freaking fucking noob on my team throws a grenade a random grenade and it kills me and it's just like god bless i'm doing better than you keep your grenade in your damn pocket oh that that's why this video is called frustrations because that pisses me off i hate random grenades and i'm the world's worst at them when i bounce them back <laughs> you know whatever I, I don't think i think <coughs> call of duty should be grenadeless all right, and here goes my triple kill. One, two, three, kill cam. And you guys take it easy. Peace out. Let me know if you're frustrated or how to get past my frustrations. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.